All right, this should be a fun little change of pace. We have 6,000 caskets saved up from a wide variety of things. I originally wanted to get 7,500, but none of us are really playing much lately, and I think that's going to take forever. These are going to be 80 attempts, and I'm very curious to see what the result of that will be. Um, 80 attempts, that's going to cost quite a bit of money. I want to go ahead... Uh, let's bank the 147 mil. Two bill in the inventory and then we'll grab an additional so we know we start with five bill is that enough to get all the enchants in oh yeah yeah 75 mil times 80 <laughs> i guess that would be oh well six billion gp okay so we'll just grab six bill that should be enough then to do every single enchant right let's go ahead and see how that goes do, 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 do. Here we go. Just do it until out of materials. Alright, game, show us some spam, please. I would like some successful ones. Please. Any day now. Bro. What? Oh, look, there's one. What the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> Hello, so many fails. And now we're starting to get a few. Convert a few more coins so we can keep going. Ugh, we're nearing the halfway mark already. What the fuck am I witnessing right here? This is some terrible enchantment RNG. So far. Oh, oh, come on. Give us a few more. Yeah, that's more like it. Keep it up, keep it up. I wonder if this will even be profit at this point. Okay, there's number six. Okay, okay. Come on. Number seven. Eight. Back to back. That's nice. Keep it up. Six billion GP and six thousand caskets. <laughs> okay, there's another number nine, I think. Come on, at least give 10. At least give 10. Come on, please. Yes, okay. One more? Come on, please. I, I don't know if we're even gonna hit 6 billion GP back from this. If we are profiting, it will be very minimal. Okay, we got one on the final one. So, 11 out of 80. I don't even know if that's on par with 15%, but that's uh, nah, probably... Mm, yeah, mm, mm. I, I can't math. Alright, so... Can we get more than 6 bill GP from 11 huge caskets? Let's find out. 900 miller, that's very nice. 1.8 bill from the first two. Do think we're gonna profit a bit, but you gotta keep in mind caskets technically could have been opened. 6,000 of them for coins as well. So I don't think it's gonna be like a massive profit in comparison, but... Okay, we're getting some decent pulls out. A little 500 mil right there is not great, but we'll take that. 8.6 bill. <laughs> So we did all of that for a profit of 2 billion GP, 693 million. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? So really glad they made Mayhem Coins spendable after the fucking event ends, huh? Imagine not being online when it ended. Whoops. So, so stupid, bro. It hurts. It literally hurts. Like, it just ended. Gave a little message in the chat because I was playing on a different account at the time. And the shop disappeared and there was nothing else you can do. Like, bro, why? Just gonna open some epic crystal keys on Sonatis account, trying to, uh, you know, maybe get his log if he's lucky. You never know. Look at that beautiful holy siphon. I haven't even shown it off once since getting it, because I have no reason to use it with the Serp Heli, but it does look fucking amazing. Definitely the better looking scythe if you ask me. Like, if I had a Sang Scythe and a Holy Scythe, and I could cosmetically override the Sang Scythe with the Holy one, I would 100% do that. Looks so much better to me, but we don't even have a Sang Scythe, so why even, you know, entertain the idea? Well, that's all the Epic Crystal Keys done. Like 148 of them. Didn't get either of the items. Oh, an Epic Pet Box from a Colossal. Didn't even record at the start because I didn't feel like it was gonna be fuck all as always, but I was wrong. It actually is something. Alright. It's been mainly focusing on Cerberus because I'm working on a, on the other series and stuff, so... It's just a colossal here and there. Let's just open it real quick, see what we get. Shitty Blood Phoenix, we can ignore that, sadly. 
Got ourselves a little colossal. What will it be? Good luck, boys. Colossal number 202. I was meant. Oh. I originally wanted to record number 200 exactly, but I totally missed it. Huh? Alright, boys, it's a new Wonder Week. I know I don't play the uh, group I'm and all that regularly, but it isn't an infernal Halo Elite this week. May as well do that for a thousand tokens. We don't really have much. Not even close to being able to purchase anything. Purple Party Hats is really rough. 22 Archer Rings and Jade. I'm guessing the Jades have to be cut, right? Otherwise, it would say uncut Jades. I guess we can work on a few tasks. Uh, Archer Rings? I have six. Do we have 16 in the vault? That's the big question. They have fucking purple party hats. That's already not gonna happen. Well, I have one, but <laughs> that's a few short. Christmas crackers are way too rough to obtain nowadays, especially after uh, the bond prices nowadays, boosting up the uh, cost of a Christmas cracker to just ridiculous numbers to the point where you don't even want to consider spending tokens on that nowadays. Let's see if I can find some rings. Oh, just, yeah, not enough. Hmm. Rough. Well, luckily we're a group Iron Man and we do have enough Archer rings combined at least. Into three Twisted Hearts. I actually know how we have that. I just saw them coincidentally. Um, and then we're gonna have to cut some Jades in a little bit. That shouldn't be too awful. Get that done and over with for an easy step. What's the last medium? Task bottles. Easy peasy. I also couldn't help but notice that the Zemi Halo was in the uh, in the shoppy real quick. So we may as well pick one up. If we have enough room coins, quote unquote. I mean, I got 9k, that's definitely enough for at least one. And we can purchase the uh, scroll to skip the Mage of Wisdom. But I guess I'll have to do a few room coin exchanges. Luckily, I've been doing quite a bit of servers. I've actually had the loot tracker up all this time as well. 1588 kills so far. Oh yeah, it even tracks the Colossal, which is pretty nice, but a bunch of smoldering stones, a few crystals. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just something to track on the side, I guess, and then we can check it once in a while. Only three glorious gems, though, unfortunately. Gonna need more of those at some point. Ugh. I guess we'll go ahead and get three Wisdom Skip Scrolls, rip the tokens right away. And then we'll go ahead and buy three Halos with that three Zemi ones, 7.5k each. Just, uh... Gonna try and strive for a few extra Infernal Halos. They are an Elite task, so, you know, Elite Wonder, pretty damn worth. Um, just gotta wait for Guffix and Saradoman to show up. We actually already had one, so I guess we need four of the other ones. Also, the last one more exchange, just to get rid of the gems for now. Just gonna stack it all up, I guess, and then uh, eventually we'll be able to make use of it. Of all the room coinies. I do want to go for another Gilded Fairy, I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, I don't want to do much else than Cerberus. Unless the other group Iron Man members are available, but they had a lot of IRL stuff going on. I've been doing the other account, you know, working on that stuff, so. No real rush as far as I'm concerned, but I do think it would be nice if we can get together again in the near future. And maybe run again uh, some TOB or maybe some Night Air and just hunt some actually good drops and stuff, that would be cool. Alright boys, we're gonna do something a little bit interesting in my opinion. Um, there's currently a weekly contest going for the fastest alchemical hydra kill. Um, the group Iron Man record right now is 19 seconds, it ends in two days and I wanna see if we can beat that. 19 seconds is not gonna be an easy time to beat, but I do think it is Potentially possible. We're gonna be very sweat mode, gonna use Infernal Elixir, Wonder Elixir, Grand Elixir, switch with the bow and the Dragon Hunter Lance, Beast uh, Fang Specs, whatever it takes to get the fastest possible kill. Probably gonna have to, uh, you know, try a few and uh, really get the hang of it, but I think this is doable, potentially anyway. So let's give it a few goes and, you know, see what the results ends up being. Might have to grab some uh, Vengeance as well, or some additional damage. Yeah, I want to use the Twisted Dragon Hunter crossbow because otherwise we can't hit it as we lure it to the vent and then switch maybe into the lens right away. Or go for like a little Fang spec because that shit hits. Lure him to the second blade as quickly as we can. Oh, it's still ranging now. Huh, imagine if we beat it on the... Uh, 
on the very first kill attempt. Wouldn't that be hilarious? How fast is that? 28 seconds. Oh yeah, that is very far off. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to practice a little. What I can tell, this is gonna heavily, and I mean heavily, rely on how we end up specking here. It, it, you gotta get those Fang of the Beast specs in as quickly as you can, or just nothing is gonna happen. Okay, got a 25 second kill there, it's a little bit better. It's rough for sure, I think I'm gonna grab an Enchanted Heart on top of it. Does it boost slightly higher than the... Uh, than the uh, Super Combat Potions do. Just take everything we get and we're using a Tectonic Eldemol for the slight boost. Everything we can, just hoping, praying that we eventually get the good specs where we just hit a fuckload of damage in like a couple of Fang of the Beast. That's really all I can do, I think. Well, there's 21 seconds. So close yet so far away still. But it's showing me that it's possible at least. Well, tried for an hour, couldn't get it this time around. It requires a lot of RNG. At this point, my tactic or the plan that I'm trying to execute with Executioner Boots is to just one-shot it with the Dragon on the Lance at the start and this is taking so many attempts, but I basically need, within the first two hits on Hydra, I need to get it down to the next phase. And at that point, I can start specking. Perfect scenario would be you go in, you hit like 150 Dragon and Lands into a 300 Exa proc, so that brings it to like 700 SHP, and then you just double claw it and get the kill. Like that would be an ideal scenario, but my god, he re <laughs> the required RNG is pretty insane. Last Inferno as well. Before we try, I am gonna go ahead and make a little bit of food. This shit is draining. Alright then boys, quick little clip on Ghost, my boy has been doing his wonders very diligently lately, building himself up to 5.5k uh, little wanderer tokens. Did he still need the imbuing achievement? I feel like he already completed it, so we needed to roll them on Skeleton, I believe. Which one is it, pay to find? Yeah, so he does already have it, but uh, yeah, that is gonna be the next armaments within our group armament, just really nice to have. Keep stacking it up, I guess. You know, the clips have been very occasionally here and there, but the team, uh, you know, Ghost and Skeleton in particular, are still playing very diligently themselves. It's just a little less fun for me right now, just because we have so much done already. It's just TOB, and we have had very long periods where we just weren't really able to play a lot. Plus the new account going on the side, all of that stuff, so... Yeah, but we're doing our best and we'll get there eventually, of course. Um, we will come back at some point where we do like mass raids again, especially if we get some new updates and that is just the main thing right now I would say. But uh, that being said, oh yeah I already bought it, that's uh, the next armament, number 4 I'm guessing? Either number 3 or 4, I'm not even sure at this point. Yeah, it was in fact the 4th armament. Oh, so tempted to go for artillery, but at the moment I think it's better to just keep the 4. We also don't play enough to really warrant the artillery. Let's see if a Skeleton can get a little Imbu Crystal. Oh, yes he can, that is 1 out of 8. That is a nice little starter rate. No 2 out of 10, but that is more than fine with me. But it doesn't end there, because we got that Crystal, we are now capable of rolling another Zealot's Eye attempt. Uh, gonna do it on my account, because I'm the only one that has a Dust to spare right now. Just in case that thing procs, it could really come in clutch, so let's see. Damn, this is already our 8th roll, that's nutty. Can we get it once again, or is it gonna fail? Ah, oh, it failed. That is unfortunate. Gonna have to save up some more. 